This channel is called English Queen and they're creating amazing educational videos that are adding so much value to the lives of the people out there. According to view stats, it shows that this channel is earning anywhere from $400 to $1,500 every single month. And in the last 28 days, they've already made almost $700 just by creating these simple and powerful educational videos. When you look at their most popular video, it got 1.5 million views and it was only uploaded three months ago just by educating people on 200 action vapes in English. I will show you how you can replicate the same method and begin creating these exact type of videos and begin uploading them on your YouTube channel and start earning hundreds if not thousands of dollars every single month. So for us to create a video like this, which got 1.5 million views in the last three months about action words, what we can simply do is we can come to ChatGPT. That's the first step that we need to do. And once we are on ChatGPT, we can ask it to give us a list of 20 action words. Now the ChatGPT has finished giving us a list of 20 action words. When we observe our video carefully, it is static with I am, then the type of action that a person is doing and the character who is doing that particular action. So what we're going to do is we will give ChatGPT this second prompt that says, great job, GPT. Now I want you to add I am to each action verb you listed so that I can see what a person is doing. We'll click enter and ChatGPT will go ahead and give us what we've just requested. For example, on the first one, we only had jump. On number two, we had run. Number three, we had dance. It has gone further to add I am jumping, I am running, I am dancing, exactly what is happening in this video. So once everything is done, this takes us to step number two, which is converting this entire text into an audio. So what we're going to do is we will copy everything and we will come to 11 labs and we're going to paste our text like that. So from here, we're going to punctuate our text. So once we are done punctuating our text, what we're going to do is we'll select our voice over artist by clicking on this button here. We'll select the first voice over like that and we'll click on generate. And once that is done, just download your audio into your PC. So once we are done generating our first audio, what we're going to do is we'll click on this same button and we're going to select another voiceover artist that we're going to use to generate a second audio so that we can have two separate audio from two different people. So I'll click on generate. And once my second audio is generated, I'll click on download. And once it's downloaded into my PC, this takes us to step number three, which is creating our entire full video. Now to do that, we're going to use a tool called Canva. Just go to canva.com and sign up with your email address and you will land on this page. So from here, what we're going to do is we'll click on this icon, which says a video. From there, we'll select 1920 by 1080. Perfect. And once the blank canvas opens up, when we observe our video carefully, it's only on a white background, which is suitable for this type of videos. So we'll leave our background to be white. And the second thing that we're going to do from there is upload our audio that we've generated from 11 labs. We'll just drag and drop them like that. So what we're going to do is we'll select our first audio like that. And once it is dragged and dropped like that, according to our script, the first action is jumping. So we're going also to copy this sentence that says, I am jumping and we'll come back to Canva. And from there, we we'll listen to it and hear at which point is it ending the sentence, I am jumping. So here where it's ending from, what we're going to do is we'll split the audio like that and we'll click on this button, which says add page and we'll drag this audio to the next page like that. From there, what we're going to do is we'll come to elements and we'll search for jumping. From there, we'll come to graphics and we'll look for a character who is animated and jumping at the same time, like this character. When you scroll down, you'll find other characters that are jumping. So I prefer this one. From there, I'll flip this animated character like that and I'll place this character here and I'll also increase its size up to that much. From there, I'll come to text and I'll click on this add heading format and I'll paste in my text like that, which says I am jumping. From there, I can change the font style. That's if I want to change the font style. And I can also increase 
the size of my text like that. Apart from that, I can also animate my text by just coming to animate and from there I'll select something like typewriter, this one, and I'll also increase its speed up to that much. I'll also animate it only when it is being introduced to the page. So I'll select on enter, not on both. So once that is done, what I simply have to do is go to the next page and listen to the action and hear at which stage it's ending from. Once you find it, so just split the audio and click on add page and drag your second audio there. From there, we will come to ChatGPT and we'll copy the second sentence, which is I am running and we'll come to elements. And from there, we're going to search for running. Again, we'll come to graphics and we'll look for an animated character who is running. Like this one and we'll flip this character like that and we increase its size up to that much and we'll come to text and we'll click on add a heading and we'll paste a sentence which says I am running. From there we're going to animate it as well. Okay this is perfect. So what we're going to do is we'll repeat this process for all of our sentences. So once we are done adding all our actions to the scene or to the design page what we have to do is come back to our uploads and we're going to upload our second audio and what we're going to do is, so after the first audio mentions the action which is being displayed, the second audio will also repeat that same action. That's the whole purpose or essence of our second audio. So let me show you. The first action is jumping. Our second audio also has got this same action. So we're going to split it like that. And we'll come to the next page and listen to it again. And we'll split it like that. And we'll come to the third page. We'll listen to it. I am dancing and we'll split the audio like that and we'll come to the fourth page, we'll listen to it and we'll split the audio like that. So once we have finished splitting our second audio, so what you just have to do is click on your second audio and place it a little bit far from your first audio like that. Grab the second one, leave it here like that. Grab the third one and leave it like that and the fifth one just like that. So this is perfect. Now from here, what I would love you to do is add in some transition between two pages. So just click on this button which says add transition. So I'll select this transition like that. I'll also place it here. So once you're done adding in your transition, the other thing that will blend it even more together is by adding some background music. So just come to elements and search for any music that will suit your video. Once you found it, just select it like that and it'll be added on your timeline like that. Just click on it. Make sure you reduce the volume of your audio so that it does not overlap our lesson. Very good. Okay, so this is perfect. Hit the like button if you're enjoying this video so far and let me know in the comment section below how you feel and think about this entire tutorial. Let me show you how the final product looks. I am jumping. I am jumping. I am running. I am running. I am dancing. I am dancing. I am singing. I am singing. I am writing. I am writing. Okay, let me know in the comment section below and see you in this next video. God bless you.